Someone's been spotted. No. Those four minutes go. No, no one's been spotted. What? Yeah. Okay, then go. I'm not here. Go. I'm not here, okay? <laughs> There's someone here for my past, and like, that's buying something off of Allen, off of Marketplace, and I'm just not here, okay? Firstly, I just want to say that I've missed you. Secondly, I hope you guys had a great holiday. New Year's is just around the corner, and I was actually not going to film um, before New Year's, but I'm just like, I need to, because I have a bunch of stuff that's gone on since I've dropped the bomb about moving. Of course, it's spreading like wildfire, and everyone knows, even the people I don't even talk to. Hi! Nice to see that you're tuning in. Thanks for the viewership. <laughs> Bomb dropped. We are moving, you guys. We have a whole bunch of stuff that we need to do in order to get the house prepped for sale. There is a checklist that we're going to have to go into and take care of. Did he want to come and say hi or anything? He's just like a small sleeper. Not right now he's working. He's like right out there. Where is he working? Flagging. He's flagging? Oh, good for him. So anyways, guys, he probably wants to say hi. Did you tell him that I said hi, though? Okay, probably not. <laughs> I'm working, guys. Working on chit-chatting with you guys, of course, right? So, um, <clears throat> anyways. Long story short, I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas and a happy holiday, and New Year's is just around the corner, like tomorrow is New Year's Eve. I work until 11 o'clock, way to go. Just absolutely love it. That's okay though, I don't mind. It's not that big of a deal. Oh my God, 24 blissful days, really 25, let's be honest. Blissful days of you and me just hanging out like busy beavers, doing our thing. I hope you guys absolutely loved Vlogmas. I curated that especially for you guys and I hope that you enjoyed it. Again, just an FYI, if you're just tuning in, why don't you hit the subscribe button while you're at it and support and celebrate in our success at growing as a family, trying to get to 1k. There's going to be a lot of changes too because I've really had time to reflect on what I want to do, what I want to do with my channel. I put a lot of time in this channel to be honest with you. And um, I try to always be that happy, go lucky, bubbly guy, because really that's who I am um, in a nutshell, but I don't always have that. Hi guys, how's it going? This is my natural voice and I'm, I'm just like more down to earth. So I'm just gonna start being myself. You either love it or you hate it, whatever it is. It is what it is. Anyways. <laughs> So I dropped a bomb. We are moving. Where are we moving to? Who knows? I mentioned that too in the other video, but that got miscued and I was just like, what is going on? I post a video and everyone's going apeshit. Anyways, we have a whole bunch of stuff that we have to accomplish in this house before we put the house up for sale. All right, so let's talk about moving first of all. <laughs> the do's and the don'ts of moving, right? First off, buying boxes is a fucking gimmick. <laughs> you can go to any place around you. Tip number one, <laughs> don't buy your boxes. Ask a retailer that you frequent if they can hold their boxes and you can pick them up. I'll be honest with you. You can get 10 boxes for $40 plus tax at U-Haul. And that is the cheapest place, Home Depot was even more expensive. So yeah, let's not go there, you guys, okay? Let's not go there. Don't buy your boxes, do yourself a favor. Also, you can never be too prepared for anything. And I mean anything. I've moved before 
don't get me wrong. I'm not a nomad. Like, I have moved in the past. Like, I told you my journey of where I've moved to. So, you obviously know I've moved across Canada. I've never moved a whole house. Like, that's the thing. So, this is going to be, like, really a very huge project and undertaking to do and take on while you're working full-time so I have to really coordinate everything and here's the thing I'm working full-time and like you can subscribe to my channel because we're going on a bumpy ride and we are going on a journey we are moving um, where are we moving to I'm not entirely too sure yet I'm going to ask my employer if they will approve a move if they don't approve it I'm still going I'm still moving if they don't approve it I'm not entirely too sure I usually I'm very um, I'm a how do I say this I'm a very loyal employee but after what happened to me and being laid off was just like a wake-up call. A wake-up call to be like, this isn't your company. Why are you so vested? You're okay to be loyal, but don't be too loyal to companies. Like, I would, if they, if my company said, no, you can't do something, I would be like, okay, no problem. Then I don't care at this point. I'm just going to go ahead and do whatever I want to do. So I'll quit and I'll get another job. Life's too short. I'm not worried about it. Just make sure that when you do something like this, that you do have backups. If we are not able to, if we're not able to secure a job and relocate through the company, then I will have to leave the company, unfortunately, which is really sad because I do absolutely love the company that I'm working right now for, but it, it, regardless, I mean, I have to do this for my mom. So that's just something that I have to do. And this is something that has to be done. And if I get your blessing or if I don't get your blessing, I really don't care. I'm doing it anyways. And that's that. And to be honest with you, it's like, I'm not entirely too sure what we're gonna do. So yeah, more to come guys. Don't know where we're going, don't know where we're moving yet, but we've been looking at properties and yes, I will show you some properties that we've been looking at. Of course, I'm gonna take you down. We're gonna look at properties. If you ever wanna join our Sega in doing all of this, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button and tag along with us. So first off guys, we have to make a checklist. And yes, I'm gonna do an old school checklist, okay? Because I think an old school checklist is you can actually keep yourself accountable while it's on paper, rather than just being like anywhere else. It could be on my cell phone. Sure, we can definitely put that on my cell phone, but I'm just gonna go old school with this and do like note and pad paper and like touch feel, you know what I mean? So the first thing is we need a list. So what you want to do is you want to name off the rooms and just create a page for that room. So I have living room, kitchen, dining room, master, spare, <laughs> burnt piece of Brillo, <laughs> Alan likes to swiggle. <laughs> Four season room in the back that you guys really haven't seen because that's really Alan's collector room. I think you might have seen like glimpse of here and there, but I haven't really taken you back there to actually see what it is because this is some private personal space. I'm trying to keep that to him. So um, yeah, so then we have the four season room. And we have the basement, oh, the stairwell in the basement. Wash up and paint if I have to. I'm hoping that I don't have to. Hopefully a, a good clean's all that we need, but who knows. So we do have, oh, right, and bathroom, I forgot. <laughs> so we have the basement, then we also have the bathroom. So we have a whole bunch of stuff that we have to do. Now, there are a listing of things that I did list off, which I'm gonna probably put in there. So let's go through the list. So paint the fireplace interior. So basically the interior I wanna paint. And I've seen a lot of people paint with a high temperature trem clad black paint inside. And especially when you're gonna be burning fires um, in there, it's going to burn the brick anyway. So you might as well paint it out black and then it'll look really nice in there and clean it up that area I find. So we'll do that. We also want to do the ceiling in here. That's another thing that I want to do is touch the ceiling in here because that definitely needs to be done. I want to refinish the hardwood floors. So there are 
I mean, they're really great hardwood floors. I've taken really great care with them, but I also want to put like a finish on them. Like if I have to put like a wax on them or something just to like polish them up and make them look a little bit more glossier and nice. Touch up the dining room, paint the walls, the headers and the trim. So there is a couple of trim marks that I want to paint on the um, Wayne scooting or scotting, however you want to say it. Then I also want to go ahead and get some of the wall done. I want to repaint the headers. We have to paint the bedroom. So the master needs, the ceiling needs to be done and also the baseboards. Some of the baseboards need to be done in the master. So we have to definitely get that done. Then we also have to drywall um, a part of the bathroom. So part in between the bathroom vanity and the shower, there's a little strip of wall. So we have to fix, um, patch, repair, fix and paint that section of the bathroom, uh, which we can do. Then, hopefully I have paint for all this, you guys, because I don't want to like be spending more paint, especially when I'm just gonna sell the house, right? So we really have to be thoughtful in our thought process and how we're actually gonna go ahead and lay this out because we don't want to spend a lot of money because we're moving, <laughs> but we also want to make sure that we are investing our money in the right places so that we can get the most out of the sale of the house as well, right? Because really, ultimately, that's what you want to do is get the most out of the house if you ever do go to sell your house. Some people, they buy their house and that's their only house, which I think is amazing because way to go for you. You've either, well, there's either two situations. Either you can't afford to move and that's sad, but you still love the house because you did buy it. So there's still love there. You just have to like, Fix it up, love it a little bit more, give it a big hug, and you will fall back in love with your house. I do love this house, don't get me wrong. I do love our house, but there's not enough space. I mean, there is enough space, but there's not enough space, if you know what I'm saying. We need more space. That's it, that's all. The floor plan is only 1,075 per floor, so that's not enough square footage for me. I need a lot more than that, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, so let's get back to this. So we really want to be intentional in how we do things to make sure that we do get the most out of our sale of the property, but also we don't break our bank when we're trying to fix up the house to sell it. Then there's also the tub surround. I want to change out the tub surround just because it's just old and I, I think it needs a new facelift. I think with a new uh, tub surround, it will really make it look a lot better. So we'll do that then we also need to install a lighted mirror in the bathroom or if we can't do a lighted mirror which is not that big of a deal but if we can't do a lighted mirror then we could definitely just put in a mirror on its own the spare bedroom we need to either i think cut a piece of wainscoting and reattach it i think and then paint it back up, I think, because I had drilled some holes in it. I have to take the TV mount off of the wall, so that needs to be done for sure. We need to replace that wood panel piece. Okay, we already talked about that. We need to paint, patch the back, <laughs> like the four season room. We need to patch the walls because um, Alan loves to screw things into the wall and there's a lot of holes in it again. And I've already patched this, literally I've patched this room about since we've lived here in the 10 years that we've lived here in this spot alone. Oh my God, I can't believe that. That's crazy. Um, but in the 10 years that we have lived here, I've patched that room like maybe two or three times. So this will be the final patch and the final paint. Thank God. We have to complete the baseboards. There are a couple of pieces of baseboards where construction was and we need to place back the baseboards just so that it completes the look. Also, we will have to put some quarter round molding on the bottoms of some of the trims as well, just to make sure that it's all matchy matchy throughout the house. And then paint those, of course, right? Clean and paint the basement stair walls, right? So just paint and clean the walls around the basement stairs. We'll get to that and you guys will see all these projects because we are all gonna do these all together, you guys. Um, so this is gonna be a lot of fun. So it's gonna be DIYing, house renovations, house moving, preparing to move, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And here's the thing, I'm only giving myself I think, I think, <laughs> I think I'm only giving myself 90 days. 
90 days to prep all of this, get it all ready for the house for sale, and move out. 90 days. 90 days to get it all done and ready for sale. And we're gone. We're gone. So that's a big achievement on its own. I'm hoping I can achieve that because I'd love to be wherever I am and wherever we are um, before my birthday, which is April 20th. So um, I'm hoping to get this all done and completed and wherever we are in the world, here, there, wherever <laughs> that we're celebrating it somewhere else other than this house. Now, the great thing is, is that we're gonna get the house up ready for sale, then we are going to move out of the house and sell the house so that when he does have people over, he can just sell the house by itself. The great thing is, is that I have security so I can see everybody that comes into the house and stuff like that, which is gonna be pretty fun. The kitchen cupboards, so the kitchen cupboards are pretty good. I wanna put like maybe a molding on the top just to have it crowned, I guess. Um, and then I also want to paint the bottom um, cupboards just because they're chipping and stuff and I feel like I put, <laughs> I put the wrong paint on. Now, it's like, do I put the right paint on? I probably should. Yeah, I probably should. I was thinking of just cheating it and putting on whatever, whatever the paint we do have, leaving it like that, and if it chips, it chips. Like, but that will be for somebody else to worry about and not for us because it'll be painted properly. But that's just not me. I can't do that, you guys. I really, I can't, I really can't do that. So we will definitely get Malamine paint and paint it properly so that there are no chipping. I think that's a great idea. Also, find a fireplace glass thing. So, you know, like the fireplace glass uh, cover or even like a screen for the fireplace just so that maybe I'll need it for safety reasons or whatnot, but just so it's done, okay? But basically, in a nutshell, just so it's done. If it's not done, then what we can do is we can get the metal thing that holds the wood, and we can put a couple of logs of wood inside the fireplace, and it'll look really pretty there, actually. So we might, we might be able to do that. We also want to replace the i don't think i said that i didn't we are also going to be replacing the carpet in there. so this carpet we've had there forever and to be honest with you there's stories about this house before i bought it this house originally repoed so some old guy his son and some hooker or stripper used to live in the back four season room because it has a separate entrance yeah <laughs> weird stories right weird stories but we're gonna have to replace the rug in there now i went to replace rug spare i went into the rug store today just to see like what the hell am i gonna find what's gonna be a good price what is all this stuff so what we did was i got a couple samples just to choose from now i was either gonna go for like you know how you can get like a rug that's nice and fluffy you know what i mean and then you can get rugs that are like squishy but they're not fiber rugs they're like sewn in rugs like I, I don't know how to explain it maybe i might have to show the difference in these pictures furry rug and this is just like the rug that's like crap right like an office rug the office rug was actually a lot more expensive than this option here so this is the cheapest shag rug, if you will, um, that we are gonna be installing in the back bedroom. Now, are we gonna be installing it? Hell to the yeah, we are. No one else is installing it for us. We are doing all of this work ourselves here. We are DIYers in the home. So, I did go and get our sample pieces, you guys. This is just a another color that you can get. It, it is really soft, honestly, like, the thickness to it is not bad, and I'm sure, I don't know if you can tell, but it is a pretty thick rug. Not too pile high, but it's very, it is a nice rug. Like, I, I didn't even know that was on the back of that. Oh my F. Oh my God, I didn't know that was there. Thank God. It just scared the shit out of me. So this is polyester. <laughs> 
the roll comes in a 12 foot width. Our room is 10 foot wide by 14 foot long. This rug is gonna be 12 by 14. So we're gonna have plenty enough to spill over and just make sure that it's done properly. The features of this rug, okay, I'll let you know. That it's stain proof, low VOC emitting, soil resistant, which is good, stain proof, which is really good, and it's proudly made in Canada. Um, so this is Tyrus Pro. So the warranty is lifetime is stain resistant and fade resistant. It has a 15 year wear resistant and no questions asked replacement in 30 days if I don't like it. So there are a bunch of palettes here. Which color do you think that we should choose? This is our first project, guys. You let me know what color you think we should put in the back. Now remember, the back is a silver gray wall with white trim. So our first color is called Downtown Brown. This one here is called Haze on the town. I kind of preferably like the haze on the town. It's a gray color, to be honest with you, a darker gray. Um, and I love the mood of a darker color rug, I think would be nice on the contrast of the hardwood. So I'm really thinking, I really love this color, I'll be honest with you. This one has more of a brown tone to it. This one is called Brewing Storm. This one is called Black Ice. This one is called Putty Gray. Um, this is beige clay. This one here is dune white. And this one here is burnt leaf. And this one here is chamois. So there's a whole bunch of colors and a whole bunch of selections. My preference, preferably, is I love this color here. Love the haze on the town. I love a brewing storm, which is really nice too. I also do love this one too, the black ice. The rug is really, really nice. Now, this also will come with an inlay, you guys. We are going to install it. So it's $1.89 per square foot, okay, for the rug. $1.89 per square foot for the rug, which is super cheap. Oh my God, so cheap. And then we are going with an $0.89 cent per square foot for the pad. And so typically this is going to run us about $800 to change out the nasty, nasty, nasty rug that we currently have in that room right now as we speak. It's seen better days. I think the rug, honestly, you guys, is like a millimeter to maybe two or three millimeters tops. This is gonna be a huge step up compared to the other rug. This is definitely gonna elevate the room um, because of the carpet that's currently in there. It's just garbage. And I know that it's gonna cost me this much, but I think for the sale of the house and to have a really nice, fresh carpeted room, and it looks really, really nice in there, it'll really help add to that room because also, you know, it's a four season room. So like there's windows all around. You just wanna make sure that it's nice and cozy in there. A nice rug will really look good back in the four season room. We are gonna go ahead and order Peak Point. And it's funny because this is from bluecanada.com. Not only do we have renovations that we have to get done to prepare the house for sale, we also have to pack, we also have to move, we also have to request for a transfer. <laughs> I don't know what else we have to do, but I'm sure there's a whole bunch of other stuff comes with moving and such. But yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to get to work here, guys, in a sec. We have to send Ryan, our floor specialist, what we're going to do for this. And I love the fact that they had samples that we could actually look, feel, touch, take home, see if they're actually something that will be good for the tone. I can actually place this on the floor as well just to see the different colors and the different tones when it's on the floor with lighting in there against the sunlight and all that stuff in the daytime. So it's nice that I'm able to go ahead and take this and then bring this back. And I'm gonna have to go and order our rug sample. So let me know in the comments below what rug sample you guys think that we should definitely install in the back for season room. And I will take a video, just a short clip of what it 
currently looks like and just so you have a better look of the color on the wall just so you can get a better feel of what rug that may we would look better in that room as well so but besides the holidays and new year's coming up I hope you guys have a wonderful New Year's, which will probably be today, because I will be posting this probably very soon. I've been itching to edit. I've been itching to get back. Um, it's great to be back. I had a great holiday myself. It was nice just to relax and not have to worry about having a camera in front of me. And I was able to be in the moment, and that was one of my resolutions, So, um, which is really, really nice. That being said, guys, we have a move to prepare for. We have so much stuff we have to do. Yeah, oh my god. This is really exciting. In the next 90 days, it's just gonna be you and I until we figure out what in the hell we're doing. So if you wanna join the ride, and if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Tag along with me while we go ahead and basically just change up my whole life. It's gonna be great. Oh my God. It's really scary too, because once you're in the market and then you sell, you're out of the market and then the risk of be getting back in the market is scary. We're talking about the real estate market. I don't wanna rent. I don't want a semi-detached. I want a detached house. So there's a lot of things that are in the equation. Also the prices of homes in Ontario are climbing like climbing like i was looking at houses and they were over a million dollars so they are climbing you guys and i'm just like oh my god what are we gonna do <laughs> but there are some gems out there that just need a little bit of renovation some love i'm sure we'll find something wherever we are we also were looking at an executive home which is really pretty on an acreage i will preview those in our next video you guys i will show you what we've been looking at and also we need to start getting into these projects like right away because i only have 90 days to get all this done so buckle up it's gonna be a fun ride happy new year's everyone love you all we will see you on the next one. Bye, everyone.